What has been said to you here? Yeah? You fuckster! Mm. Another fuckster. Well, I suppose he has his electors to think of, Henry. Yes. All 12 of them. You regret antagonizing me. Not sure it's wise, if you'll pardon me, Mr. Fielding, to make an enemy of a politician. If the pompous ass wants war, we'll give it to him. I trust, Henry, we have a plan of campaign? To Lord Newcastle, a splendid fellow. A gambler and a fornicator. A fuckster. And a voice among the powerful. Our friend. Our friend. You're a formidable woman, Mrs. Falkland. Formidable, as the French say. And you have even more formidable friends. I am but a lowly magistrate, but consider this before you think to enact your swift revenge. My office may lack a certain authority, but I, too, am very clever. Very well. Consider it done. Mr. Welsh, I cannot command you to do something I would not do myself. Henry, be sensible, Henry. There. Complete transformation. <laughs> I'm not happy with yes, that new man. Mr. Carr was altogether a better choice. You will concede, however, he did rather blot his copybook his by betraying us to a gang of murdering sodomites. <coughs> your health. And yours. Your health. Mind in your eye. Mary, if you will. Oh, I've been thinking. It's dangerous here for a woman with this work. Why don't you take the children and go to the house in Twickenham? I am your wife, Mr. Fielding. You asked me to be so, having debauched me, and I will stay here, regardless of what is said about my character. Gentlemen. Khan, a task. Good. We should return to the interrogation of Flynn. Ah, oh, I'm reading this extraordinary text. Hmm? Listen to this. Slipping then aside the young lad's shirt and tucking it up under his clothes behind, he showed to the open air... Henry! ...those globular fleshy eminences that compose the Mount Pleasance of Rome and which now, with all the narrow veil that intersect them, stood displayed and exposed to his attack. Is God merciful, Mary? Or will we burn in eternal flames for our fleshly weaknesses? He that is without sin among you, let him cast the first you and I have committed the occasional sin. <laughs> Did we do any good, John? Yes. Yes, we did. And we set a precedent. And the past few months have yielded me the odd intellectual insight and even some moral instruction. But I'm worried about what we may have brought upon ourselves with this experiment now that this new element has entered our lives. Terror. 
Is it that some natures delight in evil as others are thought to delight in virtue? That's you. Book one, chapter 10. Why is it you're good and I'm evil? Perhaps your father, the thief, was spawned by the devil. It was you who sent her to Bridewell. Windfall for the prosecution, I think. Hundreds of young women come before me every year. You sent us all of them to a fight like this. I don't send people to prison for my own amusement. She must have broken the law. That's my action. Saved her from the gallows. Generous of you, that. Pragmatic. She was only young. You didn't have to send her to prison. Don't make the law. No. You're just his servant. Yes. Ha. You remind me of my father. <laughs> the pig thief. The man who taught me how to read. You'd be very disappointed to see me now. Following his bad example. My father only committed the one crime in his life. I thought I might as well die for a hundred. There was nothing to stop you making an honest living. Feeling for most of us, this is a foul, stinking, shithouse city we live in. Mm. Question is how you're gonna eat, if you're gonna eat today. If it tastes of something, celebrate. If we manage not to steal someone's purse or kill them, to survive the night, then we've acted like holy men. Hmm? You should have been a writer. I see you're preparing for martyrdom. What would you know about it? Oh, the world is so unjust. The plight of the poor, how terrible. The indifference of the rich, how dreadful. You're a thief. A common thief. Nothing more. And why did you come here? Why are you washing me face? No, no point in spitting in a dirty face. That won't be the first time I've been spat on. Or the last. Men like me die to make sense of your life. <laughs> well, I couldn't agree with that, because that would make sense of yours. And your little life had no meaning. No more were your little death. Your choice, Tom. You're denied the luxury of blaming me. We will destroy you. In years to come, people will marvel. No were such as you. Really? My brother didn't choose this life. I'm his only family. Doesn't deserve to die. Just like that little girl you sent at the Bridewell didn't deserve to die. That is a death that you wish you could atone for. Goodbye, Mr. Jones.